Hi, everybody. Welcome to round two of the Mustache Open. We are getting underway. Timer is started. These gentlemen are just finishing the last of their ships. Round two, fight! <laughs> DQ'd, holding it up. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, Richard Aspen on the... Uh, Asp sorry? Aspidin, sorry. Uh, on the left side, flying a Ray and Jan Ors combination. I have faced off against this particular uh, list before. It is a brutal beast. And we got uh, Jesse Ventura here uh, on the right side. Colonel Vessery, uh, Countess Riyadh, and Omega Leader. Uh, one of my all-time favorite builds, actually, is uh, double defenders and uh, that Omega Leader. So we'll see what he's able to do in this combat round. He's moving up the side of the board, keeping along the edge there. So your son's doing pretty well so far. He won his first match. He may have fought his way up to table one here. No, just recording. There's no no internet, so. Oh, he did. One hundred and zero. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's why he's facing off against Jesse because it was another hundred zero there. All right, there we go, pushing up. Sort of medium fast out of this one. Mike, Michael's a little. Exactly, he's just here to have fun and fly robots. Ah, uh, there we go. Looks like we got a joust happening here. So there we go. All of those defenders tokened up like crazy. That X7 title, giving them that free evade action, that is so clutch. So that's, and that's, oh, now we gotta see, we're going into, into combat. I don't think there's gonna be shots. Looks like no shots this round. So we sweep and we set. So Moldy Crow lets him keep all of that uh, pile of focus he's got going on there. So um, this is first round. How did you end up with two focuses? Oh, recon's back. That's right. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Can't even read the dang list. Stickus, pay the frick attention. Oh man, that, that is some scary jousting here on both sides. Neither of these guys really want to have the other looking at each other. It's That is damn scary. Yep. Yeah, we announced it a couple minutes ago to... Mm. I know, I know, right? Fingers crossed for him. So there we go. We got Riyadh closing up, trying to get that flank shot. I never ruin things, except when I ruin things. Oh, taking that target lock. Got that free evade from the X7 title. And he's going to push the limit for a focus. Always never moments, right? Always never. Jan just sort of slow rolling here. Oh, not a slow roll, sorry. Forward three. Ooh, Nelly. That is not a good place for Jan to be right now. She got those vector thrusters, though. No, not arc touching that, but might be able to push back. It's a hard call at this point. It's a hard call. He's got those two focuses from the Moldy Crow title. And it looks like he's going to vector thrusters barrel roll to barrel roll out and back a bit. 
There we go. Still got that range one coming from Riyadh, but at least now he might have a better chance with that TLT shot coming up. And Ray here is doing a forward two, straight on up, getting all up in people's faces and causing a ruckus. Got Finn for that blank and the reroll. And marksmanship now from Ray. Vessery moving on up. Uh, I think I see what's going to go on here. So there's that free evade, and he's going to focus up. Yeah, the X7 title. That super defense title. Even after the nerf on the X7 title, it's still such an amazing title. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that Omega leader closing on up there, taking a target lock. On Ray, that is a good call. No more modifying for Ray. <laughs> What's that? No, that's um, on Omega Leader. If he attacks Omega Leader, or is being attacked by Omega Leader, you can't modify your dice in response. As long as Omega Leader has you target locked. So we'll see. We'll see how this is going to work here. Sorry? You can still use the other ships? Um, okay. If he decides to shoot a different ship, yeah. he's still going to be able to get his rerolls. Okay. Well, on, on, on the attack. I'm not familiar with Omega Leader yet, so we just got it. Jan is going to give another. Okay. And then, who are you shooting at? Who is in your arc or not? Yes. Then you also get your fin blank. Okay. So there's a blank. Oh man, so you're gonna get. So, three hits and a crit, you get your fin blank, and you can reroll both of those. Oh boy. Four. Four hits and a crit into Vessery. That is some hefty dice coming in. And so there is one evade. He's gonna, looks like he's spending the focus for two. And that leaves three still coming in. Two hits and a crit. Wow, what a hit. Vessery is already shields down. That Ray Jan is such a, just a freight train when it hits you. Looks like Jan is looking for a range one into Vessery. Oh, no, he's second-guessing that. He's taking it back. That's the better call. So it looks like he's going to TLT into Omega Leader. Omega Leader, of course, having Ray locked, but not Jan locked. So he, yep. And so, wow, two hits so far. Reroll that third. into an, So three hits from that first TLT volley. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So we end up with two evades. And uh, he's still got the evade token. I think he might be saving that for that second volley. Who knows here? All right, so he's taking a hit on that first volley. Boom, stealth device is down. So uh, he's going to roll a th one last die on this second TLT volley. So second TLT volley, here it comes. Into There you go. He's not even going to Predator. He's just going to spend the focus and get those three hits in on Omega. Omega takes another one. So Omega down to two hit points now. All right, and now it is Ventura's time 
to shine here. That was quite the joust from the Ray Jan list. That was some crippling damage. We're going to see what he's able to, to bring out here. So it looks like Colonel Vestry shooting top of his sack. Oh, Omega Leader, sorry, on Ray in this case. So uh, he looks like he's going to bust out one hit and a pair of focuses, or a, a pair of blanks. He's going to spend that target lock to re-roll those two blanks into... Oh, that was a hard, hard call to make. So he's got one hit coming into Ray. Ray is going to roll one uh, and then also get the... Uh, fin blank reroll. Okay. Okay, so there's an evade. Uh, you get that, and then you can reroll it into two evades. And Ray shrugs it off like it was nothing. So now we got uh, Vessery. So Vessery's got that range one on Jan. He, is, he needs to push that damage through on Jan or it's going to be a bad time next round. And immediately pull up a target lock with Vessery. He's going to re-roll those two focuses. Or, sorry, three focuses. Into, well, that is not bad. So two crits and a hit. Uh, into Janors. And Jan busts out two focuses, uses a focus, takes one damage. All right, and then we are down to the Countess. Doing her work, doing her job, doing her job. Hardest working woman in the Empire, I tell you. Also pushing into Jan. Looks like two crits and a hit so far. He's going to spend that target lock and pull up another crit. Three crits and a hit. That is bad news. So that is one evade. Uh, wow. You used it once already this turn. That you're done. No, it's, it's only for the ship he's equipped on. So he gets one. That is three crits into Jan Ors. Okay, so we got... Uh, go ahead, deal them cards, bro. We got... Minor explosion and the last one. Oh, console fire. Now, oh, that's the new one, not the old one. So Jan, rocking out with a single hit point left, got that console fire that may finish her off this turn. That was some very, very good joust, but wow, did Jan ever take a hit. What an exchange of fire. All right, minor explosion is flipped down. There was no damage, no extra damage from that. And he still got that stunned pilot, I believe, up, right? All right, there you go. looking out there good. Looking good out all right dials are down looks like we're revealing here 
I'm shocked and amazed the Countess appears to be doing a K-turn five. <laughs> Countess Riyadh doing what Countess Riyadh does and K-turn whenever the hell she wants. Jan is just trying to get out of dodge at this point. No, trying to get out of dodge, as in get the hell out. <laughs> Getting away. Now that three forward, was that a white? Okay, and then you're going to spend your action to flip down that console fire. Okay. Got shaken pilot going on over there, too. Stun pilot. Stun pilot. He doesn't want to collide with things. So Ray attempting to do a bank three. Let's see if she's able to complete. Yep. So we got the new Millennium Falcon title, which flips her around, gets that sloop going on, and there's a the stress. No, nope, not when you're stressed, stressed buddy. You oh, actually, yeah. Um, speaking of that, you were stressed, which meant you weren't able to get rid of your console fire on uh, on uh, Jan either. Glad I caught that. Because, you know, I'm totally paying attention. Did your straight... No, you did a straight three... White. He's good. He's good. Yeah, you're in the clear. Mm -hmm. Is Vessery doing a 4K? Again, I'm totally surprised. That never happens. K3 coming out of that tie. Or maybe just a little drift forward and shoot out the rear. Um, nope, wrong oh, tie. No, no, wrong no, tie. No, that's an FO. That's an FO. That's right. That's right. I feel a sleep coming on, to be honest. Oh, hard turn two. Oh, wow. Doesn't want the stress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Doesn't want the stress. Wants them actions. Getting a beautiful shot. Ooh, maybe. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna. Looks like he's gonna have a shot on Moran. Oh, uh, sorry, on uh, the hawk there if he's lucky. So he's got Comrie Lee he's still holding that uh, evade token. Gonna target lock on Ray because he doesn't want Ray to get that uh, those re rolls going on. Okay, so we got end of activation and into start of combat. So, uh, initiative is Ray and the Hawk shooting first. Now, start of combat, you got to roll for that console fire. And we got a hit. That is the last damage going through on Jan. And she is down for the count with that console fire killing her. That does not bode well for the rest of this match. Okay, so now we get into Ray shooting. That was a hella, hella expensive jam, but you know what? It, it, she is a beast if you can make it work right. So, looks like we got a range three shot on the Countess. So he's gonna get two hits, uh, sorry, hit crit and a blank. He's gonna get that fin blank and he's gonna reroll that into another blank. So he's got hit and a crit on the Countess at range three. 
And Countess goes, Natty's. <laughs> Shrugs it off like she does. Again, hardest working woman in the Empire. She deserves all the medals. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So we got Vessery shooting at range three into uh, Ray. So he's got three dice. He's got that free target lock pulling up, which he's definitely going to need. So we got a hit and two blanks. He's going to pull up that target lock and immediately consume it into that was a hit before. So that is three hits into Ray coming up. Now you're okay. So he's going to three PO nothing, just in case, and he gets. Well, there's one. So no 3PO, but uh, don't, you don't get your fin blank because he's not in your arc. So that is going to be two into Ray. Uh, Omega leader, no shot. So we drop to the Countess taking her shot. Yeah. And in arc, so you are going to get that uh, fin blank this time. So the Countess is spending her focus to get three hits out of that. Always consistent damage, so he calls. Uh, he can't, call can't call it. Not this time. So you get your one blank from that. You get your other fin blank, and you can reroll both of those now. With Ray's ability. As long as he's not target locked by Omega Leader, right? Well, no, Omega Leader's not attacking. Oh, okay. So there we go. One evade. And Ray takes two more. So she's shrugging some of it off, but Ray is taking some damage. Okay, so now we are at sweep and set. Right, Counter's doing that three bank. Got that twin ion engine mark two to make that green and clear the stress off there. That is a fantastic combo with push limit. Whoa. Tight, tight in behind Omega Leader there. I was afraid that was gonna be a bump. Well flown. Pulling up that target lock. I think that's mostly for Vessery at this point. And then uh, the free evade token, of course. Uh, free evade action, I should say, after uh, after the, uh, the uh, maneuver. And then the focus target lock as the actions which uh, with push the limit. Ray busting out a bank one which is going to end up being a collision here from the look of it. And then your butt needs to get on that side. You actually are more like... There we go. Now, do clear his stress, but that is a bump, and so no action for Ray this turn. Omega Leader slooping to the right. Now, of course, still got that, uh, still got that evade for the juke. Still rocking that target lock. 
Omega Leader doesn't really need actions this time, so it's this is a safe time to sloop. Get that beautiful out of arc shot on Ray when she's not gonna get that extra defense. It's going down. And then Vessery pushing up forward three. Looks like that's gonna be a nice tight shot there next to the Countess. Gonna get that free evade. And looks like he's doing, yep, pushing, uh, doing the focus for his regular action. All right, so we got end of activation and start of combat. So Ray looks like she is attempting to push damage through. Vessery already has shields down, so it looks like he's pushing into Vessery four dice. Not a bad natty there. Two crits and a hit. Not bad for a natural roll. Vessery's got that three dice. And blanks out. Spending the evade and instead taking two crits. Wow. Brutal. First crit. Major hull breach. All damage cards dealt face up next round, starting next round. And thrust control fire, receive a stress, and flip that card face down. So Vessery down to a single hit point, hanging on by the skin of his butt. That is definitely an arc. So Omega Leader doing a two dice shot here. Uh, busts out a focus and a blank. He's thinking hard about that target lock. He is going to spend the target lock. Reroll both of those, hoping to get uh, a couple of hits in there and deal a little more damage to so we end up with one hit all together. All right, Ray is gonna get the one die. You still got C, he's gonna call C-3PO for nothing, which doesn't matter. He evades the one hit and he's just good to go. All right, so Vessery, range one. Wow, so three focuses and a blank so far. Four focuses, turns those up using that focus token. Four hits from Vessery. And Ray takes four. And that gives him half on Ray. So we're currently looking at 70 points right now for Ventura. Now this is not over by a long shot yet. Ray might only have five hit points left, but she is a tanky beast. And a serious damage dealer. She might yet manage to take down one, two of those ships. Yep. Who knows? Colonel Vessery, only one health left with that major hull breach. That is, uh, that is kind of crippling there. Omega Leader, still two. Um, not bad. <laughs> at this point, I think uh, Richard has an opportunity to, uh, at, at the very least, get some margin back. And uh, depending on what he uh, busts out as his maneuvers here, he might get some very interesting stuff. All right, there we go. Tokens are cleared. Dials are down uh, for the most part. Looks like... Uh, Ventura here is thinking hard about uh, where that Countess goes. Having trouble committing, I understand. I get some decision lock as well. All right, dials are down. We are ready to fly. So Countess is going to reveal a forward three green, which uh, it appears that he might be turning that into a K-turn. Nothing like a green K-turn. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. This, everybody, is why we love the Countess so much. Oh, 
some people can do white key turns, but only the Countess can do them green. I know, right? That's fantastic. So green K turn, she's got the focus, the target lock, and the free evade. She is packing those tokens for business. We got a bank three from Ray. I wish I could say I'm surprised. I am not surprised in any way. And doing the, turning it into that S loop. I think that's the right call. At the very least, it's gonna give him a bit more defense. Of course, he gets that stress. All right, and then uh, Omega and Vessery can bust out some stuff now. Vessery also doing a GTFO. He is obviously concerned about uh, living for another round, so he is pushing him out, getting away here. It's a five green, really? Forgot about that. Look at that, five green, thank you. Vessery doing the right thing and just running the hell away. Omega closing in, trying to go for that kill. Toy like a tiger. So uh, I believe that's a green maneuver, so he's gonna actually gonna clear that stress. There we go, taking that target lock, making sure he's gonna get that unmodified shot. Okay, so we're at end of activation, and then start of combat, so Ray gets to shoot first. Got a full health countess tank in the front there. Oh, going for Omega Leader. He really does not want Omega Leader around. So we got three dice, no fin rerolls or nothing, but, oh, four dice, because range one, that's right. Into Natties. Doesn't even need to call Save Me Duncan. Just busts out four hits into, oh man. Oh man, this is brutal. And then Omega busts out three evades. And an evade token. And he, he still got that evade it. token. Are you, uh, now the question is, is he going to save that and take uh, five hull left in Ray? He's going to take the damage. He's not going to spend that token. The Natty War. You got two on him? Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so now we are into, uh, is it Omega, I think? Okay, Omega's three dice. Solid, solid. Hit crit focus right now. He's thinking hard about that target lock. He's not going to spend it. So Ray is going to get that one die. All right, so there's an evade. And uh, Omega Leader is going to juke that and turn it into a focus. Ain't nothing you can do about it. As long as he's got an evade token, he can turn down one of your results. And so there is... Uh, nope. Well... C-3PO adds one evade result if you guessed the number properly. Yeah. Duke will affect zero when you go one. Um, yeah. Who has initiative? Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Nope. Doesn't matter, matter because he, he guessed... He guessed wrong. Didn't get the result. Juke the one. Jukes it. Yeah, you did. You can juke C-3PO. Yeah, so that's a hit and a crit. What's the crit? Oh, yeah, hit. And then, oh, God! Uh, damage sensor array, sounds like. Oh, it's the old damage deck. Okay. Yep. So we got Ray down to three health. Riyadh gonna try and bring this home. Got, uh, yep. Ooh, better measure, guys, better measure. There's eyeballing, and then there's eyeballing. All right, so we got a range three in arc. So Ray might be able to shrug this off. Gonna re-roll that with the target lock. 
and spin the focus up for three hits from the Countess. So he gets the two of aids, the fin blank into another blank. So he takes two. Oh, take one. That's right. Take one. Two health left on Ray. How was it? 100 to zero against Todd. Nice, buddy. All right. We're getting our first results in from round two. So far, we've got a win uh, from Michael Carpenter versus Todd Aspen in 100 to zero. Bless you. That's fine. Tweaks a point sink. <laughs> I'm a distraction. I'm a distraction. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Chase me. Chase me. Saying, kiss me. Yeah. <laughs> Cocky mother effer. I'll show him. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Countess closing up here in the range. Getting that free evade from the X7 title. And looks like a focus and a push for a target lock man like every action on the action bar pretty much and plus one that isn't so <laughs> love that countess love that countess oh one bank which is going to end up being a collision with the countess there Yeah, right about there. Right about there. That's good. I think you might actually get a little more nudge that way. There you go. That's not so bad. So it was green, cleared the stress, but bump, so no action. Now that's fine because the, the, uh, the Countess won't be shooting, so that's just fine. Now we got Vessery and uh, Omega Leader doing some shenanigans here. Omega Leader looks like uh, a K-turn four getting in behind Ray. We got some Imperial Sandwich action going on. <laughs> uh, take your pick. I, I think Ray is pretty spicy, so your pepperoni. Yeah. Uh, she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, and it looks like Vassery popping a K turn four. Which is, of course, a free evade, and he takes that focus action. All right, so we are at end of activation and start of combat. Ray. A beautiful range one shot behind her into Omega Leader. Now this is an unmodified shot, but it doesn't matter because Ray has nothing to modify with anyway. So needs some natties. Ooh, one hits. That's all you get, bro. And there's that natty of aid that he needed, the one that he needed to get it in. All right, and it looks like uh, OL now taking that range one into Ray. Oof, three hits. That is not fun. And that's three hits in, and that is a dead Ray, and this game is over. Wow, oh, well flown, gentlemen. Thank you very much for that. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little while with round three.